See this video, a robot made this entire thing in just minutes. I just gave it this crazy idea, hit the button and a few minutes later, boom, this email landed with the finished video. No code, no editing nightmare. This is the future of content creation and it's here now. Want to build your own video bot just like this. Stick around. All right, first go to na10.io. If you don't have an account, click get started. They have cloud and self-hosted options. Once logged in, you see your dashboard. You need a new workflow. Click add workflow or create workflow. This blank canvas is where the magic happens. Every workflow needs a trigger. How does it start? Click add first step or the plus button. We want to start with a form. Search for form and select form trigger. Let's configure this form. We need a form name. I'll call it POV video agent. Add a form description. Something like AI agent that creates POV videos. Now click add field. This is our input for the field name ID. Use user underscore input. For the placeholder, write something like enter your amazing idea boss. Very important, check the required box. You can click test step to see the form. Whatever you type here will be captured as user underscore input. Simple. Step one is done. Next step, turn the idea into an image. Click the plus button after the form trigger. Search for OpenAI. Choose the message model. We need to connect your OpenAI account. Click the credential drop down. Select create new. You need an API key. Go to platform.openai.com. Log in. Go to API keys. Create a new secret key. Name it something like NAN8N underscore video underscore agent. Copy this key immediately. You won't see it again. Go back to N8N. Paste the key into the API key field. Save the credential. The connection is made. Now, set up the open AI node for resource. Select image. For operation, choose generate. For model. Let's pick Dallas 3. Now, the most important part, the prompt. I have prepared a detailed prompt for POV style videos. You can find this exact prompt text in the video description below. Copy that prompt text, paste the prompt into the prompt field in N8N. Now the magic part. At the very end of the prompt text, drag the user underscore input variable. Find it in the left panel from the form trigger output. Drop it at the end of the prompt. This adds the user's idea to our main prompt. So if the user types a motorbike rider on a heavenly road with giant cherry blossom trees. Dali gets the full instruction. Remember, this prompt is for POV videos. For other styles like miniature worlds or cat videos, you need different prompts. We can cover those in future videos. Let's test this step. Awesome! We have our image, but Runway ML needs the image in a specific format. Click the plus button again, search for extract, choose the extract from file node. Set the operation to convert to base64 string, leave everything else as default. This turns the image into a text string for the API. Test it, you will see a long string of code as the output, perfect. Now for the main event, image to video with runway ml, click the plus button search for HTTP request, add that node. This node talks to Runway's API, set the method to post. We are sending data for the URL. You need the Runway API endpoint for generating videos. I have put this URL in the description file, copy it from there and paste it here. Next, authentication. Select generic credential type, Scroll down to OS type, choose custom OS header. Go to the description file, copy the entire JSON snippet I provided for authentication. Paste this entire JSON snippet directly into the value field here in N8N. 
inside that pasted JSON, replace the placeholder text your runway key with your actual runway API key. You can get your API key from dev.runwaymail.com after logging in. Just paste your key there. Make sure the structure bearer your key inside the quotes remains correct. Save the changes in the node. Almost done with this node. Scroll down to body parameters. Toggle send body to own. Select body content type as JSON. In the JSON parameters field, we tell Runway what to do. Again, I prepared the JSON payload for you. It's in the description file. Copy that JSON payload from the description file. Paste it into the JSON parameters field here. This JSON payload already contains the necessary instructions. It specifies the runway model to use, like Gen3 in my example. It sets the video duration, for example, 10 seconds and the dimensions like horizontal aspect ratio. It's also set up to automatically use the base 64 image data from the previous step. You don't need to manually insert the image data here, the provided code handles it. Let's test this step. Okay, this step takes about a minute. Runway is generating the video. While it works, let me show you where this API info comes from. See, model names, parameters, headers, it's all in the official Runway ML API documentation at dev.runwayml.com. I just put the common ones in the description file for you. Okay, it finished. The output includes task underscore ID. This is the unique ID for our video task on Runway. Great! Runway needs time to finish rendering the video after the API call, so let's add a pause, click the plus button, search for wait, add the wait node, set the wait time to maybe 50 or 60 seconds. This gives Runway enough time, if we ask too soon the video won't be ready. After the wait we get the finished video, add another HTTP request node, Configure this node. Set the method to get. We are retrieving data for the URL. Use the specific get request URL provided in the description file. This URL is already set up to correctly fetch the video result using the task ID from the previous step. Just copy and paste the URL from the description file here. Now for authentication headers. Set authentication to none. Scroll down to options. Toggle send headers on select using fields below click send header for name enter authorization for value type bearer then a space then paste your runway api key value again the same key you used before click add header again for name enter x runway version for value enter november 6 2024 or check the description file for the current version all set. Let's test this get request. It might take a second. Boom. Look at the output. You should see status succeeded. And most importantly, an output.video URL. That's the link to our AI video. Click it. How cool is that? Final step, get notified when it's done. Click the plus button. Search for Gmail, at the send email node. Connect your Gmail account, follow the steps for to enter your email address. For subject type something like new AI video ready. Then drag the output.video URL variable from the previous HTTP request nodes output. Drop it into the message body. Test this step and check your email. There it is, an email with the video link. Imagine connecting this to TikTok or Instagram API. Maybe another video. So, what did this cost? Runway ML uses credits. 1000 credits cost about $10. A 10 second video used about 50 credits. That's roughly 50 cents per video. Plus, a tiny fraction of a cent for the Dolly image from OpenAI. Are there free ways to do this? Maybe with open source models? Absolutely, we can explore that in future videos. But there you have it, your own automated video creation agent. Thanks for watching, stay curious and I'll see you in the next one.